A crash that killed 20 people in New York State last year has raised new questions over the safety of modified stretch limousines. Unlike buses and other large vehicles, federal regulators have limited oversight over limos. Those laws are left up to states and cities. CTM consumer investigative correspondent Anna Werner shows why a growing number of people think that's a problem. Anna, good morning. Good morning. Most stretch limousines begin their lives as regular sedans and SUVs. They're then cut in half and extended to fit more passengers. But because they're custom built, they aren't required to undergo crash testing or meet the same federal safety standards as other vehicles. And some families have learned just how dangerous crashes involving those limousines can be. Will you tell me about your picture? I was told it was the very last picture I ever yeah. taken. That last picture of eight young women together heading out for a birthday celebration one summer day in 2015. It was supposed to be a fun day of wine tasting on Long Island. But their stretch limousine was hit broadside by a truck after the driver of the limo made a U-turn. And the ending to this day is just, it's worse than a horror movie. Nancy DeMonte's 25-year-old daughter, Joelle, sustained serious injuries, as did three other passengers. The other four women were killed, including Paul Schulman's 23-year-old daughter, Brittany. It's been nothing but hell since. People say time heals wounds. How do you go around life and people think things get better when you lose a piece of you that you never get back? Just two years later, in 2018, came the limousine accident in Schoharie, New York, that claimed 20 lives. It's not just one state. Limousine safety standards vary widely across the country. Injury is going to happen. If it's not built right. If it's not built right. Dave Lipsky inspects stretch limousines for the New York Department of Transportation. He says lacking tighter regulations, custom builders sometimes cut corners, prioritizing luxury over safety. So what they would do is put a beautiful bar in there, beautiful seating and all the amenities to have the niceness and put the weakness in the infrastructure. So in other words, they're adding the luxury features, but then in some cases they're skimping on the safety measures. Correct. For example, you know, he showed us this crash vehicle. bar installed in a stretch limo brought into his shop for inspection. Thing. You see that little thing there? This round tube right here. Yeah. Right? You know how it's so hollow it is? So nice and tinny. It's supposed to protect passengers in the event of a crash, but... You see how hey. I can bend this with my hand? Yeah. I literally can take this. I can move it. So a car hitting the side of that is that's that's not going to be any resistance at all, is it? No, there's no resistance there. The time is to get with the problem and solve it. Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer is now calling on the National Transportation Safety Board to put more emphasis on major safety reforms nationwide. What is not happening now that needs to happen? They haven't made it a priority. It, limos fall in between the cracks. You can make a limo in one state and it drives in another state and there's nothing that that second state can do about it. The safety of a limo is no different in Montana, Texas, Florida or New York. So there should be one standard. In a statement to CBS News, the NTSB said it shares Senator Schumer's concerns and has made safety recommendations for limos this year, directing passengers to use seatbelts where required by law and encouraging the use of seatbelts and head restraints where not required by law. The National Limo Association says it's committed to raising safety standards and is prepared to support prudent and consequential safety regulations. All right, Anna Warner, it makes you think a little differently about those long stretch. I don't see them being as used as much as they used to be yeah. back in the day, but when they are used, they're, they're normally crammed with a lot of people. Yeah, and often a lot of kids. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of yeah. kids. Here we have wedding season, wine tasting, prom, prom season, season, all those things. Yeah. Yeah. Something to think about.